to Noble. And they're getting set. 370 Pearl Tiara. Regally bred, being by Sir Florian Witherin's girl. Bit of class on both sides of the family there. Here we go. Green light. We're ready to run for the first. Racing. Pearl Tiara, second or third out. Vintage Sunrise won the start. Pushing up to Noble. Getting through in the centre. R8 killed it. Colleen. The favourite Pearl Tiara is back to fifth as they work out of the straight. Then followed by Sudoku Magic a mile back with 7th Heaven. And the last one was College Biddy down the back. And Tenoble sped away. Led out by 3, 4, 5 links on R8. Then Pearl Tiara making ground. But it's around the bend though. And it is all Tenoble. And Tenoble's going to bolt in. Tenoble won by 6 links on R8. Pearl Tiara third. Force gone a vintage Sunrise. Celtic Colleen was next. Then College Biddy but a few home. They were Sudoku Magic and 7th Heaven. And Tenoble. He is a phonic youngster who's got the cash. Four dollars and one seventy. It's a uh, half brother to just coincidence at Oxygen Lil. He raced with a fair bit of success. Feeding, if you fancy it. Here we go. Favourite White Hornet Box 8. We're ready. Racing. White Hornet was only out, out average, in fact. Mobile Banker won the start, charging down the outside, delay in transit. Now White Hornet's getting a move on. Suspect claims is next in 5.79 of the first mark. A break of a length and a half, Cosmic Karma. Two and a half away, stop the nation, Lennon's Lassie. I must be missing one. I am. It's out the back. Not quite sure. It's November Char Char. It is tailed off towards the bend. The two favourites, Mobile Banker and White Hornet, came round the bend together. White Hornet hit the accelerator, went clear. And White Hornet is too good for Mobile Banker. Third, tight. One up, one down. Suspect claims or delay in transit. Behind those, then we had uh, Stop the Nation, Lennon's Lassie, Cosmic Karma. And I'm not sure what happened to November Char Char, but it's tailed off. It's finished the course, but tailed off. White Hornet, the winner. White Hornet, the winner. Gee, it makes that first win of the 30.06 look pretty good, doesn't it? Gee. 30 and 49. 8, 3, 7. 3 of the May. So, Tufonic is the favourite. Nice and short here. By Fears of Phonic from UCAN 2. And we're set to go. Green light. Ready to roll. Racing. Two Phonic began only fairly off the inside. Mustering now. Devotion's going fast and Foglight is pushing up. Two Phonic is pushing through. More Aries next. Recalcitrant drifting back in the field now was Fat Controller. And the last one was so much. The leader is still Devotion. Led by two and a half links on Two Phonic. Trying hard. More Aries to third. And they're five in front of Foglight. Heading the rest and getting around the outside. Cyclone Fury. About to turn though. Devotion is the leader. Coming after it. Two Phonic. But Devotion is clear. And Devotion beat Two Phonic by three lengths. More Aries got third. And fourth has gone to Cyclone Fury. Then Foglight. A couple of links away in the field then. We had the reserve fat controller so much. Now I'm missing one. Is it recalcitrant? Back down the straight, wanted to go for round two. I don't think I want to go to round two after 500 metres. <laughs> Three, one and eight. Round Barry, still trading winners. All right. Favourite is imposing in pink and we're just about ready to run here. Stand by. Box three you're looking at. Here we go. Racing. Imposing in pink. Missed the start. Magic Bessie was the first to hop out. Oronoko on the centre and deep out was crashed early. Favoured in traffic. Back fourth the outside as they turn out of the straight in 571. And the leader is Magic Bessie out by three lengths on Crash Dooley. A couple away was enough talking. Then followed by Oronoko. Favoured in posing in pinks off the track and working. Then Princess Valand. Graceful Miss and Rock on Rosie approaching the bend. The leader is still Magic Bessie, led by a couple of links or so. Trying hard enough talking on the outside. Magic Bessie in front, beat enough talking. Crash Dooley got third and fourth. Big run by the favourite and posing in pink. Had plenty of work to do. Princess Valant was next. Then Graceful Miss, Rock on Rosie, Orinoco. And the time will be about, yeah, about 30 and 5. I was going to say 4, about 30 and 5. And Magic Bessie gives Ray Berman a winning double. Stand by. He won with White Hornet in race number two. 30 and 50, 60. The first run of that Tenable's been good. That 30.06, keep going back to that.
Here we go. Getting set. Green light. Last trick on the board. Grundon, 2.30. And favourite. Box six. Away. Grundon second last to go. Char Char Express fast out now. Grundon's coming out of the pack with Greenock Girl. Got a bit of a bump. Grundon across the lead in 5.85. And Grundon's out by a length. Graduation Girl, Railroad Rocket just behind the speed of Mr. Bonfire. A couple away, Cha Cha Express, Heartland Girl. Well, after a good getaway, Greenock Girl drifted back in the last one, fired a fear. Grundon is the leader, approaching the bend. Graduation Girl comes out of the pack and she's got her. Graduation Girl raced on by. Grundon was a spent force and Graduation Girl too good. Mr. Bonfire got up a second. Now third, I'm not really sure here because uh, Grundon stopped to a walk. Railroad Rocket and Char Char Express both came home well. Heartland Girl behind those fired a fear, and it was back towards the rear with uh, Greenock Girl. Stand by for the numbers. I'm not sure about the miners here. Second line about to come in. Frosty Dooley, 210, firming up CEO, also firming up 290. They've been back to the exclusion of all others. Favourite off the inside, the danger off the seven according to the market. We're ready. Green light racing. Frosty Dilly exploded out of box. Number one leads easily on settling and down. There goes CEO to second. So the favourites are one, two as they work out of the straight. Misunderstanding the thirds. The favourites are one, two, three. Then followed by Trebling Ruby. Satan's Thunder was next. The last one was line up, boys. There's one tailed off. Big Dak. It's right out of the race. A race in three though towards a bend. Frosty Dilly is the leader. CEO went for the run and got balked. A misunderstanding showing some grit and running on. Still Frosty Dilly clear though. And Frosty Frosty Dooley leads all the way, beat CEO, Misunderstanding and Satan's Thunder. Trebling Ruby was next, followed in by Line Up Boys and tailed off was Big Dak. And they dead set ran one, two, three, favourite order. Frosty Dooley for Barry Dool. 190 and 130. Second has gone to CEO. CEO has paid... Two dollars, a misunderstanding, no third dividend, and three got fourth. We go over here, Garrett's horse and hound. Symphonic favourite, number three. Here we go. Green light turned on. Zephonic is the favourite. Ready. Away. Mr. Zephonic. Smooth glare began very fast and going up in the centre was I'm Lily Hot. Now Zephonic burning up and currency is there in the early part of the race. Bit of Bond drifted back, got a check, Silver Char Char and Cool Jazz down the back and Smooth Glide and Zephonic. The two favourites clear out by three. Currency got to third and fourth now as Silver Char Char as they're about to turn. Smooth Glide led by a length. Zephonic trying to go to the inside. Now the outside, but Smooth Glide kicked on the bend. Smooth Glide is home. Zephonic, oh, not sure it held second. Silver Char Char flew home. Ooh, it's very tight, that. Uh, not too far away was Currency. Uh, then Cool Jazz, a uh, bit of bond ahead of it. Smooth Glide is home. Might have held second the favourite, only a nose in it though. You took my advice and took the Quinella, you probably parked at the bar with a double scotch and coke. I'm not sure if it's held on or not, maybe. Never in doubt. Three's got second. Being at home, because think about me is not running. All right, here we go. Eighth race, knocker down, number four favourite. As the name suggests, by Knocker Norris. 11 from 25. Now with seven miners. Green light. Away. Knocker down about third or fourth out. They went back. Now going up and smashing Dancer. And Knocker Down's accelerating towards the lead in 579. Favourite got away. Knocker Down led out by a couple of links on Smashing Dancer. Surf and Steffi is third and three away was Bravo. A couple of links away the inside was Cheryl's Lament covered up by Arabian Oracle and come close as covering ground at the rear. Knocker Down worked hard a little bit, found the lead out by a couple. Smashing Dancer's coming home well now, but Knocker Down in front and flying. Surf and Steffi. Maybe Surf and Steffi and Nose, not sure. Surf and Steffi or Knocker Down and behind them was Smashing Dancer. It's got third. Just watching a replay here. Uh, yep, it'll get it all right. It'll get it by about a long head. Behind those was Cheryl's Lament, Arabian Oracle, Bravo and Come Closer and two is the winner. Surf and Steffi just had to work a bit hard early. Knocker Down. 
First line up, second line joins. Santiera number nine going from box three favourite. Think about me, the late scratching. Scratching's two, three and ten. Green light, ready. Ninth race out of headquarters. Santiera is the favourite away. Well, Santiera began average. First out flying thunder and moving up now as Snippy's Dane to go to a clear-cut lead. 5.78 the mark. And Snippy's Dame led out of the straight by two links on Flying Thunder. Shoelaces Lady got to the outside in a break. About three or four with Santiera making ground would need to. Might be me, Flynn Effect, and Rupert the Blue at the back of the field. Up towards the bend still. Snippy's Dame out by a few on Shoelaces Lady trying hard. Then Santiera running on at the end. But Snippy's Dame's going to lead all the way. Beat Shoelaces Lady, Santiera, and Flynn Effect. Might be me, Flying Thunder, and Rupert the Blue at the back. And Snippy's Dame for Johnny Pay, too good. They fight, I think. Save is the favourite. Nick the Memorial Heats here on. Thursday night with the garage winter chase and we're set to go. Stand by. Racing. Saviour began OK off the outside. Us, we and Cab away quickly. Arabian Mum is showing customary speed and out wide. Saviour. Oh, two came down. Spot away and Charter are both out the boat. They're both up and chasing, but they're out the back. They're out of the race. You've done your money. Down the back of the track, Arabia Mummers led by three or four us, we and co. Save, you've got another check. He's run to some trouble. He's up running third. Then bold Miss Cornelia Bell, the other pair are gone. Around the bend, though, Arabia Mummers got a big break, but here comes Saviour. Arabia Mummer getting a bit tired. Saviour got the ground, but won't get there. Arabia Mummer beats Saviour, bold Miss us, we and co. Followed by Cornelia Bell. Then Charter and Spot Away. It was a messy old affair the last. Good time to go home. Arabia Mummer. Three dollars and two fifty. Save you one forty. Third, I written the three on the outside at two seventy. Were you late scratching? Was it? No, it was an original scratching. So no, five eighty, eleven seventy three, and thirteen forty. She walked to the.